In this video, we'll see how to configure our DX Pivot Grid's drill down capability that enables you to retrieve a list of records used to calculate a particular summary. Click on it to view the records from the widget's underlying data source for that cell. The data is displayed by a grid within a pop up window. Let's take a look at how to work with it. I've already created a simple web page, added the DX Pivot Grid widget along with some data. And here it is. It displays information on sales. Let's see how the pivot grid looks with the specified data and settings. Now let's add pivot grid drill down data. I'll define an empty drill down data source. Handle the DX Pivot Grid on cell click event and add a condition to process data fields only. Here, get a Pivot Grid data source instance. It has the create drill down data source method that returns the underlying records for an individual cell. As a method parameter, I'll pass a cell object that includes the row path, column path, and data index. Now I'll show data that the grid obtained within a pop-up window. Add the DX pop-up and DX data grid on a page and set the data grid's data source in the pop-up's on showing event handler. Finally, show the pop-up on a cell click. Let's take a look at this in a browser. I click on a cell, and as you can see, the pop-up window displays records from the widget's underlying data source associated with that cell. The last thing I'll do is define the pop-up title based on a clicked cell's underlying data. I'll define the pop-up title using the option method. And let's take a look at the result. Now the pop-up looks a little better. And that's it. To learn more about the DX Pivot Grid widget and other ways to customize it, make sure to check out our documentation online. Thanks for watching and thank you for choosing DevExpress. Mm -hmm.